గుడ్ డే టు యూ ఫ్రెండ్స్ టుడే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఆన్సర్ టు యర్ క్వశ్చన్ ఆన్ అగైన్ నక్షత్రాస్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద కనెక్షన్ బిట్వీన్ నక్షత్రాస్ అండ్ లూనార్ మ్యాన్షన్స్ హౌ డు దే అఫెక్ట్ the astrological predictions this is the question constellations are the name given to nakshatras in vedic astrology we call them nakshatras in western astrology they call them as constellations because most of the 27 nakshatras are not a single nakshatra they are a combination of 2 3 4 5 6 to the maximum of 100 that's why they call it as constellations we give a figure to them and we call them as nakshatras na shatras that means a thing that cannot be erased a thing that is permanent so we call them as nakshatras because we are able to see them permanently on the sky and astrologically the 27 nakshatras are divided into 12 divisions of 360 degrees on the lunar side that is on the uh, solar system it is something like a band band of ribbon all the 27 nakshatras have been spread over the entire cosmos it is about uh, 8 degrees above equinox and 8 degrees below equinox that is the band so this band of 360 degrees is divided into 360 divided by 12 so divided into 12 houses and they have been identified as house as well as signs we give them 12 signs starting from mesha rishaba mithuna khadaga simma kanya tula vrichiga dhanusu magara kumbha meena and the zero degree of mesha starts with ashwini so ashwini barani kritikai rogini mrugashi risham arudra ar dirvadrai punarpusam pusam ailyam maham puram uttrabalguni purvabalguni uttrabalguni ఆర్ పూరం ఆర్ ఉత్తరం హస్తం చిత్ర స్వాతి విశాఖం అనుషం జ్యేష్ట ఆర్ కేటై మూల పూరాడ ఆర్ పూర్వాషాఢ ఉత్రాడ ఆర్ ఉత్వాషాఢ శ్రవణ ఆర్ త్రివోణ శ్రభిష్ట ఆర్ అభిట సదయ పూరటాది ఆర్ పూర్వ ప్రోష్టపద ఉత్రటాది ఉత్ర ప్రోష్టపద అండ్ రేవతి దీస్ ట్వంటీ సెవెన్ నక్షత్రాస్ హ్యావ్ బీన్ స్ప్రెడ్ equally on the 12 signs or 12 houses how they can be equally spread each nakshatra has been divided into four parts and each part has called nakshatra pada so 27 into 4 is 108 and 108 divided by 12 is 9 so 9 nakshatra padas have been assigned to each sign mesha 
నైన్ నక్షత్ర బాధ అశ్విని ఫోర్ నక్షత్ర బాధ భరణి ఫోర్ నక్షత్ర బాధ అండ్ కృతిక వన్ నక్షత్ర బాధ అండ్ లైక్ దిస్ అండ్ ఆల్ దీస్ నక్షత్రాస్ ఆర్ కాల్డ్ లూనార్ మ్యాన్షన్స్ బికాస్ మోన్ హూస్ అదర్ నేమ్ ఇస్ లూనార్ ఈస్ ట్రావెలింగ్ త్రూ ఆల్ దీస్ ట్వంటీ సెవెన్ నక్షత్రాస్ స్టేయింగ్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ వన్ డే ఇన్ ఎవరి నక్షత్ర ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ దర్ ఇస్ అ పురానిక్ స్టోరీ వేర్ మోన్ హ్యాస్ మ్యారీడ్ ఆల్ ద ట్వంటీ సెవెన్ నక్షత్రాస్ అండ్ దర్ వాస్ అ కంప్లైంట్ ఆన్ మోన్ దట్ హీ స్టేస్ మోర్ టైమ్ in rogini's house for other nakshatras he is not staying thus that much and he is favoring rogini so moon was cursed so that is why it is a waxing and waning moon in tamil they call it as valarberai and teiberai waxing means valarberai and uh, waning means teiberai so moon travels through every nakshatra through every nakshatra pada and these are called lunar mansions suppose a person is born when moon is traversing through rohini nakshatra then his janma nakshatra is called as rohini there is a connection in astrology between nakshatras planets signs and houses <coughs> the houses are decided based on the time when a person is born and the first house is called lagna it represents a particular traits of a human being second house third house fourth house everything has got its own uh, uh, traits its own characteristics or we can call it as its own significations and every sign has been named as mesha rishabha miduna kadaka and every sign has got its own significations and there are about seven planets sun moon mars mercury jupiter venus and saturn and two shadow planets called rahu and ketu and all the nine planets when a person is born a snapshot is being taken on the sky where these planets are located and they have been transported to the 12 signs of a horoscope that becomes his general horoscope native horoscope birth horoscope so these planets also has got significations so we can correlate the nakshatras which has got its own traits the planets which has got its own significations the signs which have got their their own significations and the houses which have got their own significations we are mixing all these things and then interpreting about every part of a human being his behavior his thought process his uh, actions and what is going to come to him what is going to happen to him everything we are interpreting i will say nakshatras are the roots and the roots most important part which in tamil called as anivel is the nakshatra pada and the trunk that grows out of the nakshatra is the planet and the leaves branches etc are the signs and the houses so nakshatra plays a very important role in prediction of a human being thank you very much good day to you